We are naturally adrenaline junkies in this department. So if something happens, like if, if they say GSW, which means gunshot wound up front, coming back, everyone and their mother is up there in the front, getting the patient on the stretcher and getting them back. And in that case, we need a medical room load quickly because he's uh, actually seizing, so. Okay, we woke up at 4.30, took a shower, and then had a little bit of breakfast and then got my coffee and drove here. I'll be in triage for four, and then in the front at Greet for eight hours. Tell me a little bit about what's going on, what's bringing you in. Kelly just answered the radio um, on an ambulance that's coming in right now. They call right here, the radio goes off and a song plays, and then they'll come through the ambulance bay over there. They come and park right here, and they bring the patients in. It's literally such a teamwork mentality down here. Did I tell you guys I'm in med school? You did? Yeah. Oh my god, congratulations! That's fantastic! I'm so happy for you! And now that I'm down here, I feel like it's just become my personality. He had a TIA two years ago, and with his previous history, and with what we're seeing right now, we'll go ahead and do imaging. If they're going to surgery right away, and we know that they're going to, and it's already prepped up in the OR, Beautiful. Let's get them in the room, we'll get the IV placed, and then we'll take them upstairs. That's where I come in. I'm a surgical scrub nurse. This is where I spend every day and this is what I enjoy doing. I'm the nurse who greets you when you come into the OR for surgery. And I prepare the room with everything we need during each case. And so this is what the room looks like in the morning when we're ready to set up. I prepare and organize the equipment on the table so it's ready to go during surgery. The first thing we do is we drape out um, the table with this blue sheet. And this is what creates our sterile base for opening all of our supplies. I don't have to sterilize the tools myself. We have a big team at Rush that handles this. Everything runs like clockwork here. I love the order of the OR. Everything has a place. I count every sponge, needle, clip, and tie to make sure everything that goes into your body comes back out at the end of surgery. If you love precision and are a little type A, this is the job for you. After surgery, I send the patient up to me. I'm Taylor. I'm a med surge nurse. I help patients while they're healing on inpatient floors in the hospital. My day starts at 7 at the bed huddle. We do all my our bedside checks from 7 to 7.30 with the off-going nurse and then round with the whole team um, later on during the shift. Nurses are the eyes and ears on the unit. We're there at the bedside all day and we hear and see what's going on with our patients so we can communicate that with our interns and residents. What I like about working at Rush, the doctors really trust the nurses and we have a lot of autonomy and they really trust everything that we're saying so if we know that there's something wrong with our patients they don't doubt what we're saying when we tell them that they need to come by and take an assessment and uh, possibly change the plan of see care. See ya, see ya, see ya friend. See you back in the ER. The purple top, the dark blue, and then since he's ordering the type of, I'm gonna help you when we go in there. During my day I see a lot of sick people. Some days I'm helping out with wound care, otherwise I'm helping out with peritoneal dialysis with other nurses in the hospital. And if other nurses need help with their patients or they just want an extra set of eyes or like, what should I do? I'm more than willing to jump in and help them with their patients. Okay, sounds good. I can always help you too. Cool. All right. Okay, thanks, friend. Since the pandemic, I've noticed the people on my, our unit are super close. We're tight knit. When we come to work, we have a good time. We laugh. We make jokes. Ah, you're the best. <laughs> and help one another out when we're having a really crummy day. It's just, we just need to get through it. Our patients are sick, they're not in the best mood, and so we just need that camaraderie just to be together and help one another out to get through that 12-hour shift. You just rub that belly, give it good vibes. No, you look adorable. Adorable, that little baby bub is too cute. Almost there. I've been here for almost eight years, and like I said, don't plan on leaving anytime soon. Do plan on heading home soon. My shift is 12 hours, so around 6.30, I'll go around, make sure all my patients have their dinner trays. When we do bed huddle, our bedside report from 7 to 7.30, I'll go in with the oncoming nurse. Uh, I didn't do an introduction and make sure their needs and concerns are all set for the oncoming nurse. It's really about who all you work with. Am I right? Right. <laughs>